Got here a Geiger counter by WMD. Owner says it won't power on. Indeed, it does not. So let's open it up and see what's going on with this. I removed the screws off camera so you didn't have to hear the drill, but let's take the back cover off together. Let me snoop around a little bit and see if I see anything that stands out. I can't see right now. Is there discoloration? Oh, it's just dust. Okay. So I've got it all opened up, power connected. And I was tracing where the nine volts goes away. And then I see this cap right here. It is nice lovely. We'll take the power off of it so it doesn't explode on us. This cap here with this nice lovely bulge. That cap is not specifically too good. So let me pull the board out and see what that cap is. I, odds are I've got a replacement for it already. To pull the board, I've got to take everything off this. So this will be fun. All right, I've got everything off the front. I'm able to pull this up without taking all the stuff apart. And to access that bag cap, I had to lift this pot up. I'll just be careful not to bend the leads too much. So it's this cap here. So it's these two leads here. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I'd rather you guys not see everything a little bit, maybe, but I, I don't burn the hell out of myself. Soldering irons at 700 degrees Celsius are like short lightsabers. All right, got the solder off the pads on both sides. Do this without getting tangled up with my audio cable for the mic. What we've got here is a 470 microfarad 10 volt cap. It's a Nichicon, it's a high quality cap. I suspect that that 10 volts rating was just a little optimistic. If the wall voltage spiked, if it was used with a non-regulated supply, it could spike over 10 volts. So I'm gonna see if I have a 16 volt cap that'll, or 25 that'll fit the same space. Let me check my stash. All right, as I primarily work on amps, most of the radials I carry are higher voltage stuff than this. I do use low voltage radials for stuff, but usually for cathode bypass caps and stuff. Um, and you're just not using 470 microfarad for that. So this is the smallest one I've got. It is physically too large to go back into the amp, I mean, into the chassis from either direction. There's not room to bend it over. But it is the proper value. It's a 25 volt, 470 microfarad cap. That's a high quality one. So I'm just gonna temporarily attach it here and see if the pedal power is on now, if this cap was the only issue or not. I know that it is an issue. If there's something else I need to keep digging, I don't wanna order a cap and then 30 minutes later find out I should have ordered something else as well. That's the only one which is blowing, has, has blown rather. And if this one immediately has problems, it tells me that something else is majorly wrong in this unit. So let's bring this over here and plug in the power. I've got the current limiter on, so if there's a short, it won't be too bad. Well, may need to have a, something plugged into the input. It's also possible that some ground is made when these things are all tied to chassis that's not being made right now. So I may have to put more together to check. No, it's not going to be a chassis ground connection because that chassis is all painted. There's some other problem is it afoot. All right, it's losing voltage somewhere after that. If there's something wrong with this little chip here, that's WMD's fault. My, that's WMD's problem, not mine. Let me see what this pedal sells for. This falls in the category right now of things I could fix, but I don't know whether it's worth it to have me fix it at my hourly rate, which is set for amp work. Because work I spend on this is work I don't spend on amps, so I can't do too many sweetheart deals on pedals, especially without a schematic. Though it's possible that they'll send me one. Let me check something real quick. Description, digital destruction. The WMD Geiger counter is hundreds of entirely new face melting sounds. A high gain modern preamp drives an eight bit computer, creating sounds which range from nice to be overdrive. 
lo-fi aliasing, hot gated leads to total madness, impossible amounts of gain, multiple octave fold over, harsh digital data errors, and piercing sculpted noise. Uh, the important part of that is hundreds of sounds and 8-bit computer. I'm not set up to work on tiny little PCs. I don't do a lot of SMD work by choice, not by inability. Uh, but also, that means that this thing's going to have a lot of if-then go-to conditions and a very complicated schematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to button this up as is after I remove my good cap here and share this video with the owner and let him send it off to WMD who can either fix it or replace the board. I suspect given that this is a very inexpensive board to populate, it's probably faster for them to swap boards than to, to, to fix, but you know, that's their thing. But this is not an analog circuit. This is a very complicated thing and uh, I'm, uh, flying without a wire, so I'm going to stop it here. And remember, I'm not charging the owners, so if it offends you that I'm declining to go any further on this, get over it. I'm not charging him. I tried.